Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, I think today morning we discussed uh, two problems. So, one is uh, uh, modulus of uh, <coughs> sine x. The second problem is uh, uh, what is the second problem we discussed? Can you remember? Yes, uh, one interval it is zero, the other interval is uh, sine x. Okay, uh, from minus pi to zero, it is uh, f of x is zero. <coughs> zero to pi, uh, f of x is sine x. Uh, okay. So we discussed with two problems. And now, uh, today in this class, we will discuss the first problem. Find the Fourier series for the f of x. Okay, f of x is equal to cos alpha x. x lies between minus pi and plus pi. Alpha is here, uh, not an integer. So that is very important. Okay, uh, alpha is not an integer. Deduce that cot alpha pi equal to 1 by pi into uh, 1 minus alpha minus summation n equal to 1 to infinity 2 alpha by n square minus alpha square. Solution. So here uh, 2L equal to uh, okay, uh, 2 pi. This implies L equal to pi. The cos alpha x since cos alpha x is even function. Even in even function in in the interval, <coughs> in the interval what? Mm, minus pi, minus pi, comma, plus pi, closed interval. So in this interval, it is uh, even. <coughs> so uh, therefore, therefore, Bn equal to 0. Okay, b n equal to zero for every n. Okay. So now, uh, what is your f of x? So I need to find a naught and the here. So f of x is equal to a naught by two plus summation n equal to one to infinity a n into cos n pi x by l, l is pi, so pi pi gets cancelled. So, okay. so first we will find a naught. Okay, but we know that uh, uh, cos alpha x even function. Okay, first I will write to 1 by pi, 1 by pi, minus pi to plus pi, cos alpha x, Cos alpha x into dx. Since this is a even function, you can write this is a twice twice zero to pi cos alpha x into dx. Okay, well, so now our integration. If you integrate cos alpha x, you'll get the sin alpha x divided by alpha. Limit is from 0 to pi. Suppose alpha is an integer, <coughs> then uh, sin pi, uh, uh, sin alpha pi minus sin 0, both of them are 0. But here, alpha is not an integer, so that's why it is a 2 by pi alpha, the substitute upper limit will get what? Sin alpha pi minus sin 0, 0. So, A naught equal to A naught equal to uh, 2 sin alpha pi 
divided by pi alpha or alpha pi or whatever it may be. Okay. So this is your A naught. Now we find A n. A n equal to uh, 1 by L, L is pi. Limit is from minus pi to plus pi. F of x is what? Cos alpha x uh, into cos n pi x by L, L is pi into dx. So pi pi gets cancelled. So uh, this is an even function. Okay, this is also an even function. Product of two even function is even function. <coughs> so you can write this is a twice two by uh, pi integration from uh, zero to infinite. Sorry, zero to pi uh, cos n x. First, I will write cos n x. And then I'll write cos alpha x into dx. Okay. Well. Now uh, 2 cos a cos b. So 2 cos a cos b is cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b divided by 2. Zero to pi. Cos of a plus b is what? n plus alpha into x plus cos of a minus b. n minus alpha into x uh, divided by 2 into dx. Now, integration. If you integrate this, okay, first we cancel 2 and 2. 1 by pi. If you uh, integrate the cos of n plus uh, alpha n x, you will get sine of n plus alpha into x divided by n plus alpha. Again, plus if you integrate cos of n minus alpha x, you will get sine of n minus alpha into x divided by n minus alpha. Limit is from 0 to pi. Okay. So first to apply the upper limit for x equal to pi. So I'll go to the next slide. 1 by pi. Okay, so you get what sine of n plus alpha into pi sine of n plus <coughs> n plus alpha into pi divided uh, by n plus alpha. Okay, plus uh, sine of n minus alpha into pi divided by n minus alpha. Upper limit is over. Okay. Minus uh, lower limit. When x is equal to 0, sine 0, 0, sine 0, 0. So lower limit is uh, 0 plus 0. Then close the bracket. So you can't write this is 1 plus uh, 1 by pi. 1 by pi. Uh, 1 by n plus uh, alpha okay, well, into uh, alpha is uh, not an integer, so you can write as sine of a plus b formula. Okay, sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So sine a sine a 
plus cos b cos b is what cos cos alpha pi plus cos a cos uh, m pi into sin b sin alpha pi close the bracket plus 1 by n minus alpha into sin of a minus b <coughs> sin of a minus b is what sin a cos b minus cos a into sin b okay close the bracket so here sin n pi 0 similarly sin n pi 0 so cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n here also cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n so you can write this is 1 by pi 1 by n plus alpha into minus 1 whole power n into sin alpha pi and then here have minus so my plus into minus minus 1 by n minus alpha cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n into sin alpha pi okay so now in these two terms what is common uh, the common term is <coughs> the common term is the minus one whole power n into sin alpha pi is common okay well, so i am going to take commonly minus one whole power n into sin alpha pi the next page So it is equal to 1 by pi into minus 1 whole power n into sin alpha pi is common. Then remaining is what? Uh, 1 by n plus alpha minus 1 by n minus alpha. Now take LCM n plus alpha into n minus alpha or n square minus alpha square. Sin alpha pi uh, n minus alpha cross multiply n minus alpha <coughs> n minus alpha minus alpha minus n minus n uh, minus alpha okay divided well. by n square minus alpha square okay this is n plus alpha so plus n minus n gets cancelled here we have the numerator we have minus 2 alpha so a n equal to what a n equal to minus 2 alpha uh, into minus 1 whole power n into sin alpha pi uh, divided by pi into uh, pi into n square minus alpha square okay. so we got a n also already we uh, uh, we it told that uh, the function given function f of x is equal to cos alpha x even function so bn is zero so now uh, the corresponding for you series is what f of x is equal to a naught by two so can anyone tell what is uh, a naught by two <coughs> a naught is a two sine alpha pi by alpha pi divided by two is what sine alpha pi divided by alpha pi. So 
so two up to so two to get cancelled okay wow. so this is uh, a n by two and then a n what is a n minus uh, two alpha pi minus two alpha pi is independent of n so that's why i'll write minus two alpha by pi summation n equal to one to infinity what is remaining minus one whole power n into sine alpha pi uh, minus one whole power n sine alpha pi sine alpha pi what is the denominator uh, denominator is n square minus alpha square okay into cos n pi x by l l is pi 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 gets right so i call this is equation number one okay so now we should tell what is the value of x i need to substitute to get the series actually left hand side is cot alpha pi so from cot alpha pi you can easily guess we need to substitute alpha equal to what pi pi yes correct here so sorry x is equal to pi x is equal to pi in equation 1 so x is equal to pi is a point of continuity because our interval is what uh, our interval is zero sorry our interval is minus pi 2 plus pi but the pi is also included in the interval so <coughs> So x is equal to pi is a point of continuity. It's a point of uh, continuity. Okay. So and hence the sum of the Fourier series is equal to f of pi. Okay, f of uh, pi. That is equal to sine alpha pi sine alpha pi. So even I will take uh, here also I have sine alpha pi. Here also I have sine alpha pi. I put commonly sine alpha pi. Ah, uh, remaining half one by alpha pi minus uh, two alpha by pi. Okay, uh, summation n equal to one to infinity minus one whole power n into of uh, sine alpha pi. I will put outside uh, divided by n square minus alpha square cos n pi. Cos n pi is minus one whole power n. So now the left hand side is what? Actually, the left hand side is uh, f of pi. F of pi is what? Cos alpha pi. I'll write directly cos alpha pi. So cos alpha pi divided by sine alpha pi is uh, cot alpha pi, which is equal to uh, here I have commonly one by pi is common. So we'll take it out. Remaining is what? One by alpha minus uh, two alpha into summation n equal to one to infinity minus one whole power n into minus one whole power n is minus one whole power two n minus one whole power two n is one. Okay, one by n square minus one minus alpha square. Since Minus one whole power two n equal to one. So I think uh, you can check it. Uh, we need to prove this result. Uh, in the beginning I gave the uh, okay. So you want to check? Please verify. This is the result I need to prove. It. So I will go to the second problem.
The second problem is uh, obtain Fourier series for f of x is equal to uh, root of 1 minus cos x. So if you have any doubts in the previous problem, please ask to me. And then I will go to the second problem. If you have any doubts in the uh, first problem, please ask to me. Okay. No doubts, sir. Okay. Thank you. So now, uh, second problem, obtain Fourier series for f of x is equal to root of 1 minus cos x. x lies between 0 and 2 pi. Prove that summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 4 n square minus 1 equal to half. Solution. So here, uh, 2 l equal to 2 pi. This implies L equal to pi. So, A naught. <coughs> what is A naught? A naught is 1 by L. L is pi. L is pi. Uh, limit is from 0 to 2 pi. F of x. F of x is what? Uh, 1 minus root of 1 minus cos x into dx okay so 1 by pi uh, limit is from 0 to 2 pi this one i can write uh, 1 minus cos x is 2 or sine square x by 2 into dx okay so now uh, this is equal to root 2. I'll write here root 2 by pi. Limit is from 0 to 2 pi. Actually, root of uh, sine square x by 2. Okay, what? Mod sin. Huh? Uh, mod sin x by 2. Uh, we shall a little bit clear. I, I am not thinking. Uh, we have to write that uh, more than expected as well now. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Modulus of what? Sin x by 2. Ah, uh, yeah. Modulus of sin x by 2. Yes, correct, Pusha. Okay. Actually, uh, uh, actually plus or minus, but uh, uh, here we have we need to consider because of uh, here have root of sine square x by 2. So that's why uh, this is equal to modulus of sine x by 2. But uh, in this interval, uh, this interval 0 to 2 pi. So modulus of sine x by 2 is sine x by 2. Okay. Which is equal to root 2 by pi root 2 by pi 0 to 2 pi uh, sin x by 2 into dx okay. so now uh, if you integrate sin x by 2 you get uh, root 2 by pi minus uh, cos x by 2 divided by 1 by 2. Limit is from 0 to 2 pi. Mm, okay, so this 2 will go here. So 2 into minus minus 2 root 2 by pi. Okay, uh, if you substitute uh, x is equal to 2 pi, uh, 2 to gets cancelled, cos pi, cos pi is minus 1, minus cos 0 is 1, so a naught equal to uh, minus 2 plus minus 2, so 4 root 2 by pi, so this is your a naught. Okay. So now we will find the a n. Sir. Yeah. 
sir because it is sin x by 2 we are taking uh, positive no sir if it was sin x then we should take two intervals no sir here ah uh, yes sir ah uh, shila please ask your question uh, here we have uh, the root uh, sin square x by 2 Okay. Suppose if your question is suppose if it is a sine x, ah, ah yes sir. Then we should take zero to pi pi to two pi. Ah, uh, suppose if we have just ah, uh, uh, I think your question is uh, just uh, sine x by two, like this. Is it? Is no it sir. If it was root of sine square x, root of sine square x, ah. root of sin square x na yes sir okay here also you need to take a, a modulus of sin x for full interval 0 to 2 pi sir yeah for full interval 0 to 2 pi so okay. for full interval 0 uh, to 2 pi sin x would be positive only sir please Ah, uh, 0 to actually, ah, uh, 0 to pi, ah, uh, pi, yes, ah, uh, 0 to pi by 2. Up to pi only it is positive. Okay. Yes, sir. From 0 to pi, we should take sin x, then pi to 2 pi minus sin x. Ah, uh, actually, here pi by 2. Ah, pi by 2. Here we have pi. Okay, sine pi zero. Again, it will come down. Okay, so here three pi by two, and then three uh, pi by two is it is my. Okay, three uh, pi by two. Okay, I think. Uh, <coughs> oh, you are you are telling that uh, from zero to pi, it is. Uh, Uh, sine x. Yeah, sine x, and uh, from pi by two, from pi, pi to two pi, pi, it is uh, uh, minus sine x. Minus sine x. Okay. Minus sine x. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay, I think uh, so. Now I think after we got A not A n. What is A n? A n is one by pi. One by pi. Ah, uh, limit is from zero to pi. Sorry, zero to two pi. Yeah. Zero to two pi. Into root of one minus cos x. Into uh, cos n pi x by l. L is pi. Pi pi gets cancelled into dx. So now, again, you should write this is uh, root two by pi. Integration from zero to two pi. <coughs> Sine x by two. Sin x by two into cos n x into d x. So this is a. This is b. So this is equal to root two by pi. Uh, cos a sin b. Cos a sin b is what? Sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. Yeah, sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. Sin n plus half into x minus uh, sin n minus half into x divided by two. So into dx. So now integration. Okay. So 
root 2 divided by 2 pi. If you integrate sine, you get uh, minus cos n plus half into x divided by n plus half. Minus, if you integrate uh, sine, minus half minus plus, cos of n minus half into x divided by n minus half. Okay, the limit is from 0 to 2 pi. <coughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now, I need to substitute the limits. So, I will go to the next page. So, root 2 divided by 2 pi. If you substitute uh, 2 pi, you will get cos uh, 2 n pi minus cos 2n pi plus uh, 2 pi by 2 is uh, pi plus pi divided by n plus half and then plus if you substitute here 2 pi cos 2n pi minus pi divided by n minus half. So upper limit is over. Minus lower limit. When x is equal to 0, uh, cos 0, 1. So minus 1 divided by n plus half. Minus 1 divided by n plus half. And then here, uh, 0. So, plus 1 divided by n minus 1. So, which is uh, equal to, so I need to find the value of these two, okay. So, at least the cost of Vn pi plus pi. This is equal to cos of a plus b, cos a cos b, cos 2n pi into cos pi, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Sin 2n pi into sin pi. Okay, so sin pi, this is 0. So we have only this. So cos 2 n pi is 1, cos pi is minus 1, so totally this is minus 1. Similarly, cos of 2 n pi minus pi, that is also minus 1, because only change is here, plus. So cos 2 n pi, cos a cos b, plus sin a sin b. So again, this is 0. Then how? This is 1. This is uh, minus 1. So minus 1. So now substitute these two values here. Okay. So root 2 divided by 2 pi. And Minus half minus one. So plus one divided by n plus half. Okay, and then uh, this is minus one now. Minus one divided by n minus half. Okay, and then plus one by n plus half. Minus 1 by n minus half. Okay, so now uh, actually you, you can add these two. Okay, 
So I have two times uh, these uh, functions. That's why I'll write two two into root two divided by uh, two by pi into one by n plus half minus one by n minus half. Actually, <laughs> two times two times I took two commonly. And two two gets cancelled. So root two by pi. If you take uh, LCM, this n square minus one by four. The numerator is how just cross multiply n minus half minus n minus half. So the, this is a plus sorry minus one minus one. So minus root two divided by pi. Uh, this is what four n square minus one four n square minus one divided by four or I'll write four in the numerator. This is your a n. Okay. So next, I need to find the b n. B n equal to one by l one by pi. Integration from zero to two pi. A root of f of x is what root of one minus cos x into sine n pi x by l, l is uh, pi pi gets cancelled into dx. So root of one minus cos x is uh, root two divided by pi. Integration from zero to two pi into sine x by two. Into uh, sine n x into dx. So here, take this is a. This is b. So two sine a sine b is cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So root two divided by pi. Zero to two pi. Okay. Uh, Cos of a minus b is what n minus one by two into x minus cos of a plus b n plus half into x into divided by two into dx. Okay, now integrate root two divided by two pi. Uh, if you integrate, you will get what sine of uh, n minus half into x uh, divided by n minus half minus sine of n plus half into x divided by n plus half. Limit is from zero to two pi. So if you substitute the upper limit, uh, you'll get what? So please tell uh, root two by two pi. So this is a constant. Okay. <coughs> so sine two n pi. Yeah, sine two n pi minus pi. Sine. 2n pi minus pi divided by n minus half okay. minus uh, minus sine 2n pi plus pi sine 2n pi plus pi divided by n plus half. So this is actually upper limit. Minus lower limit is uh, sine zero zero sine zero zero. So zero minus zero.
so again this is uh, root 2 divided by 2 pi so i will write this is a sign of 2n minus 1 into pi minus uh, sine of 2n plus 1 into pi. So this is a odd pi, sine odd pi is 0, sin, this is also sine odd pi. Otherwise you can write <coughs> sine of a minus b formula, sine a cos b minus uh, cos a sin b. Here also sine of a plus b. Sine of a plus b is the sine a cos, uh, cos b plus cos a sin b. You can expand and get uh, get the same answer. But if I take pi commonly, this is 2n minus 1 is odd. 2n plus 1 is also odd. So directly you can write uh, this is a 0. This is also 0. So bn is equal to 0. So now the Fourier series is uh, f of x is equal to what? f of x is equal to uh, what is a naught? So a naught is uh, 4 root 2 by 2. 4 root 2, okay, 4 root 2 by pi uh, by 2 pi because a naught by 2, okay, plus uh, summation n equal to 1 to infinity. What is a n? Minus 4 root 2 by pi uh, into. Minus 4 root 2, okay, by pi, okay, into, into what? 4 n square plus minus 1. 4 n square minus 1. Into cos uh, n pi x by L. L is pi, so pi pi gets cancelled. I call this is 1. So, uh, what is the substitution we need to, sub we should try here. I need to get this series summation 1 by 4 n square minus 1. What is equal to 0? Oh, this is 0. Okay, 0 try. Uh, yeah, 0 is Okay, this is equal to 0. Yeah, x equal to 0. Uh, in the intuition, Okay, because it is 1, okay, I need a summation n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by pi, pi into 4 n square. Even if you put a, a x equal to pi, uh, that is minus 1 whole power n. So here also, okay, so that will not work out, okay. So in 1, x equal to 0 in 1, so x is equal to 0 is a point of uh, continuity because we are dealing with the limits i think minus pi 2 plus pi sorry 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi but 0 is also included in the interval so that's why it's equal to 0 is a point of continuity it's a point of continuity so f of 0 of 0 equal to uh, 2 root 2 uh, 2 root 2 divided by pi minus 4 root 2 by pi is independent of n summation n equal to 1 to infinity uh, 1 by <coughs> 1 by 4 n square minus 1 uh, this is cos 0 1 okay so now f of 0 is actually we are the function is what our function is uh, root of 1 minus x uh, 1 minus cos x so 1 minus cos 0 so cos 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is uh, 0 the tens side is 0 so this is equal to 2 root 2 by pi minus 4 root 2 divided by pi summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 4 n square minus 1 so 
this expression i will write this expression equal to uh, minus 4 root 2 uh, divided by pi summation n equal to uh, summation n equal to 1 to infinity <coughs> 1 by 4 n square minus 1 okay wow. Is equal to or uh, this is actually zero. If I write this one the right side, then we we'll have minus two root two by pi. So pi pi gets cancelled. Root two root two gets cancelled. So final answer summation n equal to one to infinity. One by four n square minus 1 equal to uh, minus 2 by minus 4 is 1 by 2. So this is the final answer. Okay. So the practice problem. Find the Fourier series. of p divided 2 pi period 2 pi okay for the function f of x is equal to root of 1 minus cos x same function uh, <coughs> but the interval is uh, we have minus pi 2 plus pi. Okay, so just I will give you the values a naught value, a n value, a naught equal to 4 root 2 by pi, and the a m is uh, a m is minus. 4 root 2 divided by pi into 4 in square minus 1. And the final answer f of x is equal to um, 2 root 2 by pi minus 4 root 2 by pi summation n equal to 1 to infinity. 1 by 4 n square minus 1 into cos n x. So please verify. Okay. So I will start this problem, but I can't finish this one. <coughs> okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, question is obtain Fourier series obtain Fourier series of periodicity. Pi for the function for f of x is equal to minus x when minus pi less than x less than 0 and f of x is equal to x when 0 less than x less than 1. Or the same question may be asked like this. <coughs> Uptime the Fourier series
to represent the function. f of x is equal to mod x, f of x is equal to mod x <coughs> in minus pi less than x less than pi and, red, and reduce that and reduce that 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on which is equal to pi square by 8. So, so both are same question. Okay, so here we need to represent uh, the function f of x equal to mod x. So mod x the definition is what? Mod x is equal to minus x uh, in this interval minus pi to 0 and the mod x is equal to plus x when x lies within uh, 0 and pi. And we know that um, f of x equal to mod x is an even function. So since f of x is equal to mod x is an even function, so uh, this implies b n equal to zero for every n. So now we need to find the a naught and the a n. So a naught equal to uh, directly I'll write uh, two by pi. Limit is from zero to pi. 0 to pi f of x into dx. f of x is mod x. f of x is equal to mod x. So in this interval from 0 to pi, mod x is equal to x. x into dx. So this is equal to 2 by pi. If you integrate, uh, you get x square by 2, limit is from 0 to pi. So 2 to get cancelled, 1 by pi into pi square minus 0. So final answer pi. So a naught equal to pi. Next we need find, to find the a. n equal to uh, again uh, 2 by pi uh, 0 to pi f of x is uh, mod x into cos n pi x by l is pi 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 gets cancelled into dx so in the interval 0 to pi mod x is equal to x x into cos nx dx, apply Bernoulli formula for integration, 2 by pi, uh, x into, if you integrate the cos nx, you will get the sign nx by n minus, if you differentiate x, you will get 1, if you integrate sin nx, you will get the minus uh, cos nx divided by n square limit is from 0 to pi so this is a 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit so minus of minus plus so 2 by pi n square is independent of x 2 by pi n square is independent of x remind you have cos in nx if you substitute pi cos n pi cos n pi is what minus 1 whole power n lower limit <coughs> cos 0 is 1 
So this is actually your uh, an, but uh, you can split uh, uh, when n is odd or n is even. When n is even, this is zero. Okay, well, because uh, minus one whole square is what plus one. So it is n, n is even. This is zero. N is odd. Uh, this is minus one minus one. So minus two. Minus two into plus two minus four by pi n square. So there are two cases. A n equal to uh, minus four by pi n square if n is odd. And A n is zero if n is even. So your f of x a naught by two. <coughs> what is a naught? is uh, pi a okay. so pi by 2 uh, a n a, uh, that is n is odd even terms are 0 so minus uh, 4 by pi is independent of n summation n varies from 1 3 5 and so on up to infinity into 1 by n square, this term, 1 by n square, into cos n pi x by L, L is pi. Okay, so this is actually, I will write, rewrite f of x is equal to uh, pi by 2 minus 4 by pi. Instead of writing 1, 3, 5 to infinity, suppose if we want to write 1 to infinity, how to write uh, this n? I want to write this is 1 to infinity, but uh, instead of writing n, what we can write here? n equal to 1, just to see the denominator, 1 square, 3 square, okay, and then 5 square, okay, so it's going like this, okay, so now for n equal to 1, I need 1 square, n equal to 2, I, I will get a 3 square, n equal to 3, I should, I should get 5 square. 2n minus 1, sir. Yeah, yeah. Harini, sir. Harini, yeah, correct. Two n minus one, correct. Yes, thank you. Two n minus one, whole square. Okay, yeah. Yes. Similarly, here n replace n by two n minus one. So 2n minus 1 into x. So now, um, so I call this is equation 1. Equation 1. So I think I need to find what? Uh, the series 1 by 1 square, 1 by 1, 3 square, 1 by 5 square. Okay, everything is positive. So in the value polar, which uh, please suggest quickly. Put x is equal to zero. Zero. We try from Lama Shila. Okay, zero. So x is equal to zero. Is your point of continuity? Yeah. Is your point of discontinuity? Is continuity, Mr. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I yeah, think so. No, no. I think x, x equal to zero is inside the interval. Okay, wa. So the first one then, so minus ah. one less than x less than zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think uh, I need to check here. 
okay but uh, i need to check the book i think it should be i should be like this okay so minus because uh, if you consider this x lies uh, a, a zero is inside the interval okay wow. so so it is better to consider this uh, this problem okay so so zero is a point of continuity so point of continuity so then f of zero then f of zero Mm, right hand side is what pi by 2 minus uh, 4 by pi summation n equal to 1 to infinity summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n square 2n minus 1 whole square of Uh, into cos 0, cos 0 is 1. So now uh, f of 0 is 0, pi by 2 minus uh, 4 by pi summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1 whole square okay uh, okay so now from this uh, uh, 4 by pi 4 by pi um, 4 by pi okay and write this side summation n equal to uh, 1 3 even you can keep uh, n equal to 1 to infinity okay uh, okay suppose if i write like this uh, 4 by pi into you substitute n equal to 1 you'll get what 1 by 1 square uh, plus 1 by uh, 3 square plus 1 by 5 square uh, n equal to 3 okay uh, and so on which is equal to minus pi by 2 so final answer this is also minus pi Okay, this is also minus pi. So 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square which is equal to pi by uh, pi square by 8. So this is a final answer. So if you have any doubts in this problem, please ask to me. Uh, I want to check it once again. Suppose if it is a uh, uh, point of continuity, so discontinuity, okay, uh, zero. Uh, zero is uh, not in the end point, but it is uh, lies in the middle. Okay, uh, so I will check it, Vasha. Okay, I'll check it. Yes. You. Okay. So if you have uh, doubts other than this, you can ask to me in this problem. No doubt, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you sir. Okay. We'll meet tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.